being pregnant and you're not allowed to give birth. <laughs> oh, such pain. <laughs> well, today I want to thank the Arts House for giving me this venue <laughs> to give birth <laughs> to my baby. Okay. Um, before a baby is born, you will give it a name, right? And I will call my baby Notch Little Red Riding Hood. Okay. How many of you heard the story Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah. Yes. yes, right? A lot of us. When I was a little girl, when I read the Little Red Riding Hood for the first time, I thought there was so much violence. Oh, the wolf stole grandma wholesale. And then, out of nowhere, a woodcutter showed up with a gun. Why would a woodcutter be carrying a gun? Never mind. The next horrible thing happened. He gunned down the wolf. And then, he took out his axe and slit the pregnant looking wolf tummy into two. And out popped grandma, brand new, unscared. Not even a stain and wearing a little bonnet. Look cute like a brand new baby. I was totally confused. Well, never mind about that confusion. And the moral of the story? Children, don't talk to strangers. And my three-year-old daughter asked me, Mom, if I never talk to stranger, how am I supposed to find my way home? if I was lost. No wonder the adults of the children of the past years grow up to be lost and confused adults of today. <laughs> today, allow me, my friends, to tell you a tale of my husband. <laughs> it started when we were about to have our firstborn son. And I was in terrible labor pain and we went to the hospital and then the attending nurse wheeled me quickly into the labor room and prepared me and left my husband in the woods, lost my little red riding hood. <laughs> because they told they never told him where I was taken to and never instructed him where to wait for me. And after sitting around for 45 minutes, he started getting anxious, you know, because I threatened him, if you were to miss any of our baby's birth, the baby will be named after me, Tong, T-H-O-N-G, and not Chong, C-H-O-N-G. Well, it's a small swap between C and T, but it means a great deal for Chinese us, right? Okay. So, a poor man was getting really anxious and then, in that strange place, appeared a familiar face and that face was the face of my doctor, Dr. Chu. <gasps> my husband was very happy to see some familiar face and he went up, Dr. Chu, my wife is in pain. I think she's about to give birth. Dr. Chu said, yes, of course. That's why I'm here. My husband thought, yeah, doctors always come in the very last minute and get the factor's fee. But never mind about that. So he said, well, I don't know where my wife is. Do you know where, do you know where they have taken her? Can, you, can I come with you? And Dr. Chiu said, yes, of course. And so the two men went into the prep room. And very soon they were covered in surgical scrub and masks. And they went into the labor room. Supposedly, I was lying there in excruciating pain, and my husband stood there. Wow! He felt like little red riding hood entering grandma's bedroom. What swollen face you got, my dear? <laughs> and then he felt guilty that he put me through such excruciating pain until I lost my usual pretty self and he went ahead to the next place. He stood by my side and held my hand. And then, wow, 
What swollen hands you've got! Then the doctor gave up an order. I need one good push from you, Mrs. Ng. <laughs> he saw the woodcutter coming into the room, but without gun or axe. And then he dashed out. When he found me and related his misadventure, I laughed so hard my, my water bag burst and my baby was born. <laughs> delivery room jumped in. I was waiting to hear a story about, you know, the husband fainting or, <laughs> you know, I, because when, when, when he went from Little Red Riding Hood to, to Reba to rescue, I thought that you would have been Little Red Riding Hood rescuing the fainting husband while you were on the verge of giving birth. So, that, and, and I seem to think that in, in all the narratives, there are a lot more other narratives waiting to be unpacked within this, the narrative that you gave. So thank you for sharing that very personal experience with us. Thank you very much. Uh, so probably I couldn't relate to the delivery part as well. <laughs> but I think you were saved by the bell. Your <laughs> uh, so pain was not that long. <laughs> but yes, I like the way you narrated the story and constructed it because all on on the idea of uh, baby being born, delivery, the heart of the world, everything came to one single point. So I think you did it very well. Thank you very much.